is Bugsy's Bugs. I'm Ling Ling and this is my channel. I really hope that you enjoy the content that I'm going to share with you and if you do please don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe. Enjoy! So what you can see here is a Formictivus species Dominican purple from the Dominican Republic and this is a one centimeter sling and I've put it underneath the microscope so that you can get a microscopic viewing of the molting process. I didn't catch the beginning stages of the molting process unfortunately because this took me from quite surprise but even though I missed that part you're still seeing something quite amazing. So here we're at the stages where the extremities or the legs are being pulled out of that old cuticle which is the old uh, exoskeleton. Um, the abdomen is already broken through. So the first stage of the molting process happens a week before the actual molt happens and that is the apolysis stage. So that's the separation of the old cuticle from the hypodermal cells inside the body. Um, and then the second stage is the ecdysis, which is the shedding of the entire exuvium, which is the exuvium is the exoskeleton that we usually take and we'll put it under a microscope and sex it. So the old malt is called the exuvium. This stage that we're at looking at right now is the spider is trying to pull its extremities, which is the limbs, from the old cuticle. And if you're looking closely, you can see those hairs pinging out from the old cuticle, from the old molt. And the reason why they come out and they barb up like that is they actually act like stoppers. So they stop the leg from slipping back into the old cuticle, the old molt, and getting stuck. And that's where you'd get a bad molt. The molt starts off where in the ecdysis stage, uh, there's a splitting in the old cuticle around the carapace area. Um, and this, will then follow through down to the abdomen. The Where the abdomen is, that is the only point that's supple enough and stretchy where the spider can actually show that it's bulging in our naked eye as a human. Um, but in actual fact, the spider cannot grow during the stage where it's still in the old cuticle, in the old exoskeleton. The growth takes place during the molting process, but right now that you're seeing now, and immediately after. That is when the spider grows. When the spider gets their legs stuck, unfortunately, that can happen. That is the most fatal stage. So the abdomen is quite easy to come out of its old cuticle, but the legs, if they get stuck, that can be quite fatal for the spider. And this is all regarding the hemolymph in their bodies, pushing and racing around. As the molt starts, the spider's heart rate will um, speed up and it will start pushing that hemolymph around the spider's body to get that blood pumping so that it can start pushing and getting that energy out. In this part of the footage you can see the tiny little feet and the little joints flexing and it's assumed um, that they flex these joints and they do these movements. It's because they're stretching out the saggy fresh cuticle that they now have that's still soft and it's not quite hardened but now it's out of the old cuticle it will start immediately starting to dry so they'll flex those joints to keep that movement going you can see those tiny toes spreading I think it's amazing and they'll keep stretching these limbs they'll keep stretching their body to get that full growth there this is them growing a bit like a party balloon where you know those long balloons where they can make sausage dogs and swords and all that lot? Their limbs are pretty much like that at these stages. Look at those tiny toes. 
so they'll get they'll come out of the old cuticle and immediately they will start stretching those those limbs those extremities when the legs are halfway free from the old cuticle the abdominal muscles become active and you can see that these are in a contracting wave like motion and you'll see that in a bit in the footage so when we're looking at the spiders and we're saying oh yeah they're in pre-molt you know and we're, we know that they're coming up to a molt what you're seeing is you're seeing um the new sensilla hairs underneath the cuticle that needs to be removed so the old the, the, the exoskeleton that's so stretched to the point of breaking around the abdomen you're seeing that darkened abdomen and you, sometimes you'll see that the legs are darkened too that's what you're seeing you're just seeing the new sensilla hairs and these hairs that you're seeing right now are active all the way throughout this whole process so there's not one point where they cannot feel their environment, they cannot um, feel any of the sensations or vibrations. These are active all the way through and they are feeling everything. And if you look a little bit more closely, you can see some of these hairs are moving on their own independently. And they're just scoping out the environment. And they're scoping out the new feeling of air around them and they're also scoping out the vibrations around them. And now it's popping those legs out. This is like the last push, almost to freedom. Come on, get those legs out. You can still see those little toes spreading, contracting, move, stretching those legs keeping that movement going almost like so that they don't go stiff like we would there you go freedom stretch those toes immediately immediately stretching those toes so that fluid doesn't keep them sticky and keep them together immediately flexing immediately stretching and this right now is the growth stage so right now this spider is growing this is the stage where your spider will be growing and this is the stage where you'll be saying oh it's doubled in size you know it's just molted and now it's massive that's because it's still growing right now right now is the stage where you're seeing that expansion of size so the only part of the spider that can actually show the bulging of growth before they actually molt, that the stage where you're like, oh look how big fat that bum is. Well, I'm like that. I'm like, look at that big fat butt. But um, that is just because the opis opisthosoma, it's easy for me to say, um, is actually the only area that's supple enough. The area uh, which is the carapace or the prosoma that's quite hard so that that's the bit that pops off and that's the carapace that pops off but that's not supple at all that's hard just the same as the limb area or the extremities Here I concentrated a little bit more on the whole feety area because I just, this is something that you don't see during a normal malt video that um, I've done on my channel. I've done a short of a malt video and it's just what the naked eye could see at a sped up rate. I really wanted you to see how these hairs are moving individually, scoping out its environment and also um, getting into place. Now the old sensilla um, hairs 
are still active whilst the new ones are getting finding their place they they will stay active the entire time as the new ones are developing strength and hardening on the surface of the hypodermis or the exterior skin so the whole way through this this spider can feel everything around it absolutely everything going to see here is um, just before the um, old abdom abdominal cuticle completely leaves the spider you'll see in a minute what this spider does um, it's not something that you can see with your naked eye either or during a normal molting sped up video so what the spider will start to do is it will start to use those spinnerets and attach a thread of silk inside of the old cuticle or the exuvium so the the old malt uh, and that will act like a safety line because at the moment what it's doing is it's ensuring everything is out everything is safe everything is how it should be and keeping that malt just attached to it just for that moment is quite is a, is a safe way of making sure nothing gets pulled away um, sometimes spiders will eat drink from those malts from the old exoskeleton or the exuvium to get that moisture back into their body and you'll find that a lot of the times when a malt goes bad, it is due to the lack of hemolymph or the lack of fluid in their body. So they are quite dehydrated and they just don't have that slip or that energy to get that slip going. But to see these spinnerets in action at a close up range is pretty extraordinary. Uh, I absolutely love seeing it like this. I absolutely love seeing everything at close range. And I mean, this spider is too small to sex right now, but um, you can clearly see those book lungs right there on that abdomen, and you can clearly see something there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what I think it will be, but. Um, you can see for yourself and you can have a little guess yourself. I'll have to wait for an older malt, but um, I have a pretty good idea. I've got my, my bets placed on what I think it is. Now uh, we're coming up to the end of the video, um, I didn't get the full flip because as I said um, I didn't get the full molting process from start to finish so I just wanted to give you a little insight on what I did catch and I really hope that you enjoyed this footage, I hope you enjoyed the content um, and I think you're going to want to stay until the end of this video to see what's next and I just want to say thank you so much for watching my first video thank you so much for sitting there bearing with me and listening and uh, I really look forward to your comments please leave a comment in the comment section please like this video if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe and share the uh, video out thank you so much Hey, 
this is Bugsy's Bugs. Hey! <laughs> Hi! You're here with Bugsy's Bugs. I'm Ling Ling. The array of buggery. <laughs> we can't say that! <laughs> hey, this is Bugsy's Bugs. I'm Ling Ling and this is my channel. Mm -hmm. 